Hello guys, welcome to another video. And as you saw from the previous video, I mentioned that in the past 12 days, you guys will be seeing wildlife photography of birds. So let's get into it. Hello, ladies and gents. And now we are starting our series of the 12 photos of my wildlife photography and this small series out of the 12 photos is the rose ringed parakeet series parrot which is a parrot basically but it, it's a parakeet so i see that there is like super the, if i put it naturally right that's pretty good but i want you know what? Nah, it takes away the, the life out of the animal. So... I'm just testing it out real quick, just to see what it gives. Great. I don't want to make the bird too... too... I don't want it to be like this, okay? Look at the difference. There's a big difference. And of course, the weather was not the most incredible weather in the world where the sun is out and the sky is blue and you have great lighting for it, although it can sometimes be harsh lighting. Um, but in order to be a very good photographer, you need to know how to take photos in... in that scenario because if you say oh no i can only take photos i'm only good at taking photos when the sun is up and, and when there's sunset and sunrise but in midday i can't do it because it just uh doesn't work out for me i don't know how to deal with harsh weather well you first of all you will never know how to deal with harsh weather if you don't try you know, for all I know, this photo could have been completely dark because the camera lens would focus on the bright, bright cloudy sky. Um, so as you can see, sorry, I kind of drifted off topic. Uh, some of these things um, should be kept net neutral because some of them really affect it in a bad way. Oh, they added blur, but... I have to, I have to purchase it, you see. Or maybe not. Early, yeah, early access, yeah. So I can try it a little bit and then that's it. And then I have to pay for it, yeah. Nah. Or maybe not. I don't know what this is doing, so let's see. It's the first time I'm using it. I don't see much difference if you ask me. Discard. Oh yeah, I saw it messed up the beak. Yeah, forget about it. I don't know, but you see the ones that have stars on them? I have to purchase it. And I would only purchase these things if I had uh, the program on my computer, but I don't for now uh, due to some program problem with my computer. So that is why it's not working, but we will see. I'm just saying, I can't really tell the effect. Oh yeah, you can. But no. I don't want to do that. It looks slightly better. Don't want that. Don't need that. I forgot what the haze does. Let me see.
I want the eye to be visible. I don't want it to be dark like this where you can't see anything. So, yeah. Nice. Detail. Clear noise. See the noise. Let's put it around here. Okay, clean it. Hmm, interesting, can't really tell if this setting of smoothness is doing any effect to the, to the bird. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to leave it like this and thank you guys. Oh, this is color noise. Sorry, let's see what happens if we do this. Oh, so, okay, I did the color noise. Whoops. Well, whatever. What is done is done. Yeah, actually, let's go back to here and change some stuff. I'm going to put this down to there and put this back to 50. 57 is fine. Hmm. The eye though, you see the eye? Yeah, I mean, it's all right. Could have been better. Uh, I'm just gonna zoom in, see how everything is looking before this part of the series as the first photo is coming to an end. 